Hey everyone, today I'm making chicken crack dip. This is a family favorite at our house. We especially like to make it on Sundays. I will throw it in the crock pot before church. And then when I get back, I just have to finish it up for a few minutes and it's good to go and ready to eat. So I'm gonna start out with some chicken breast here. I've got three large chicken breasts that I'm gonna put in my crock pot. And to that, I'm gonna add my ranch seasoning and also two blocks of cream cheese. So if you're wanting to make like a bigger batch for every couple of chicken breasts, you just wanna add in another block of cream cheese. So we're just gonna put those in there in the bottom and then I will sprinkle over my ranch dressing mix. So this is a dry ranch dressing seasoning mix. I make my own and I have a video on that. I will put a link to that in the description below if you want to see it. And I will just put a couple tablespoons over that, over each chicken breast where they're just kind of covered really good. And then I'm going to add my cream cheese to the top of this. And then we will just let it cook for a few hours. If you're wanting to do it for about um, three to four hours, you would do it on high. And then if you're going to put it on low, you want to cook it for about five to six hours. At least that's how it works in my crock pot. Your crock pot might be a little bit different. So you want to check it. But how you know it's done is it's going to have released all of its juices and the, the chicken is going to really just shred apart super easily. So you can see here that the chicken is all done. It's released all its juices and I'm just going to take two forks and I'm just going to shred this up and mix it in with the broth and the cream cheese. So it's going to be nice and creamy and delicious and we just really like to eat this over chips. Um, but you can also eat it over rice or baked potatoes or you can have it with bread and it's also really good cold so like if you have leftovers you can just grab them out of the fridge and eat them and it's kind of like a chicken salad type thing so it's really really good. So once I get everything nice and shredded up and mixed in with the broth and the cream cheese, I'm just going to add a couple of cups of shredded cheddar cheese to the top of that, sprinkle on my bacon bits, and then you would also add green onions if you're doing those here, and put the lid back on, have my crock pot still on, and let that sit for about 10 minutes, and everything's going to melt together, and it's going to be all finished and ready. So here it is ready to go and tonight we are serving it over white rice and we also have some cut up carrots with ranch and some peaches on the side. 